Right, to other news now. And Qatar's foreign minister says the Gulf dispute is threatening the stability of the entire region. Several countries have cut ties with Qatar, accusing it of fostering terrorism allegations Qatar vehemently denies. Well, Mohammed bin Abdulrahman bin Jassim Al Thani sat down with Al Jazeera. Sheikh Sabah, His uh, Highness Sheikh Sabah, has visited King Salman yesterday, the day before yesterday, and he listened from them, and then he went and visited uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, and then he came to, to the Emir. Uh, still, we don't have what are the clear concerns and the clear demands. And uh, he told us, he gave us an idea, a general idea, as w what have been mentioned in the statements and, and uh, in the interviews for, for uh, the officials of Saudi or, or Emirates. But uh, uh, what are the demands or what are uh, the, the real reasons behind it? We really have no idea. The economic sanction we can sustain forever. We can ensure the supplies forever. We can, uh, uh, our country, uh, thanks God, alhamdulillah, is, is blessed by, by resources, is blessed by funds. We have investments everywhere in the world. Well, we have actually a big question mark about the future of the GCC after this crisis or even during this crisis and what role the GCC can do during this crisis. We didn't hear anything from the Secretary General of, of the GCC uh, since the escalation started. So uh, there is uh, uh, really an unknown future uh, from our side to, to the GCC and how this organization can operate effectively. Qatar's foreign minister speaking to Al Jazeera's Hashem Albara and Hashem then spoke to my colleague Kamal Santamaria following that interview. I think there's no indication to suggest that this crisis is going to be contained anytime soon. Right, okay. The Qatari foreign minister was very defiant during the interview and the press conference uh, earlier, saying basically that what is happening is a collective punishment against Qatar, which raises questions about the future of the GCC. And he said, basically, they are saying that they remain defiant and that they reject the whole set of uh, accusations that mm. were leveled uh, against them by the UAE and by Saudi Arabia.